and bright paper. The response is one of happiness and joy. Then they notice that one of them, one of the boxes is larger than the other. We can understand that, as children often do, they may see that and their joy of the one who got the smaller box would be turned to sadness or even jealousy. Not even having opened the box, not even knowing what is in the box. That's kind of what's happening with the apostles in the gospel. They do not know what they are asking for. They do not know what they have been given. Jesus Christ tells them, you will be baptized like I am baptized, and you will drink from the chalice that I drink, foreshadowing the death, the martyr's deaths that they will experience and give glory to God with. Yet the others, the other apostles, see that and become envious. And that happens to us in our daily life very much. When we take our eyes off what we should and we begin to compare our lives to those around us, it's easy to see the grass being greener on the other side and to become disenchanted, to lose our inner peace, our joy. And the one correction that we must always keep is to return to Christ, facing Christ. The apostles had Christ right among their midst, and yet they erred. They were envious. We must keep our eyes fixed on Christ. He will shower us with not happiness that comes and goes, but the true joy experienced knowing how grateful we need to be for everything that it gives us, everything that is perfectly suited for our journey towards him. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Philip Neri, and what better example of joy than he was talked about many, many people, how they flocked to him just to share a word with him just to be in his presence. People were lifted up with joy, the true joy of Christ. St. Philip Neri had Christ at the center of his life. His eyes, no matter what he was doing throughout the day, were fixed on our blessed Lord. He did not concern himself with what he had, what he didn't have, or how big or small were the gifts that he had. He was concerned with Christ. Let that be our mantra today and every day. Let Christ be our center. Let Christ be our focus. And let the joy of Christ well up within us and to all those around us.